stake is whether towns will be on the hook to make up for tens of thousands of affordable housing units that weren't built due to 16 years of dysfunction and disagreements at the state agency tasked with overseeing it. The state Supreme Court today hearing arguments challenging a lower court ruling that told towns they don't have to make up for housing obligations missed between 1999 and 2015. Ignoring 16 years of households that are real people, um, that are people with needs, that are people looking for opportunities, that are people with disabilities, that doing that is among the cruelest things that could happen to lower income households in the state of New Jersey. Kevin Walsh argued the case for Fair Share Housing New Jersey. The litigation dates back 40 years when the Mount Laurel decision declared New Jersey the first state in the nation barred from using zoning to exclude the poor. Today, Walsh contended that the legislature couldn't have foreseen a 16-year gap due to dysfunction when writing that towns need to consider present and prospective needs, meaning all those families left out need to be considered. Over the past 17 years or so, when COA had failed to do its job, um, builders have been confronted with problems uh, resulting from that. Uh, the most significant one uh, being uncertainty. Um, builders would uh, propose uh, developments to municipalities, and municipalities didn't know what their obligations were either. Enforcing the obligation has been a messy task for municipalities, too. In 1985, the legislature created the Fair Housing Act. It requires the state to periodically issue new guidelines for required affordable housing. But after years of impasse, the courts ruled in 2015 that judges would take over enforcing the housing requirements. So far, 80 towns have reached agreements with fair housing advocates, creating more than 30,000 units of housing. Well, the question is, what did the legislature impact? And it's very clear what the legislature intended when they used the word present, because they were responding to Mount Laurel 1 and Mount Laurel 2. Mount Laurel 1 and Mount Laurel 2 both define present need identically. Low and moderate income households living in substandard or overcrowded units. Okay. So it's clear what present needs. Jeffrey Seranian represents Barnegat Township. He says affordable housing advocates steered away from the plain meaning of the statute that didn't include the words retrospective needs. But the justices seemed skeptical. Are you saying that there's no obligation yes. on the part of those municipalities to do anything over those I'm years? saying that uh, six months for people for 16 years. Don't count. Well, I'm disappeared from the map. Is that correct? Is that your, is that your interpretation? I'm saying that. I, that I, yes. I don't want you to say. I want you to answer my yes. question. Confusion remained over which category to assign those families who were missed during the gap year. Both sides remained optimistic after the hearing, saying they expect a swift decision, possibly by the end of this year. In Trenton, Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.